Okay, so as a short recap of last week, everyone, you decided to go on to Brookshire to see what you could find and who and what you may be seeing. So you made your way over to Brookshire. Upon doing so, you got attacked on the road to Brookshire, where Corona met his untimely doom and ended up dying, but then being revived with the un raised undead spell, where he was then turned into a skeleton from an undead. Sounds like Corona. Yep. After doing so, Blueford has also been beefed up as he's gained a couple levels. And due to this, you also all ended up going to the edge of Brookshire. You're all at the edge of Brookshire. What will you do? Going in, right? Uh, also, if we recall last time, they weren't particularly happy to see me. That's right. They didn't want him in because he's he, they don't serve your kind. They don't like the skeleton boy. Oh, yeah. And I had to talk about talk our way into getting inside. You're lucky you're sexy, otherwise these tin cans would be recycled. So you are given <laughs> passage to enter. However, at the due cost of it being, they're not really friendly towards you. Can we just cover him in a cloak? He has his clothes on, the issue being they can see his face. Mm. Okay, can we cover his head? I, I think I actually might have a spell for this. Hold on. Do you? I I don't know. I'm going to double check. Uh, I mean, option two. I could always look like Bluford's chew toy. Oh, mm. God. Mm. <laughs> Why are you happy about that? I have something. I don't know if it's perfect. Oh, I can go on. Oh no! Wait, this is only for myself. Never mind. I was gonna say I could cast invisibility at will, but that's only on myself. Never mind. I mean, I could freak the whole town out, and I could just cast darkness on myself. Oh no! Yeah, wait! No, no, no. It doesn't <laughs> say on myself. It's not required to be on myself. Okay, I can just make him invisible. Act like he's not there. Get wrecked. If the problem is people will notice him, we can just make it so they don't. Fair enough. Good news is, I can make him invisible, and even better, I could still see him. Road, Water Street. From which is I, it, I can still see invisible creatures. So even if I turned him invisible, I can still see him if nobody else can. Okay. That actually works quite nicely. So. Why I took those. As you cast invisibility on him, he is shrouded from sight as you enter the city. Upon doing so, the guardsman looks a little bit startled as your friend has just now disappeared from sight. Oh, we were doing this immediately outside the town. Oh, okay. That wasn't a good idea. You should have waited till we actually walked inside. I'm gonna just while I am invisible, dance in front of these guards and flip them off. <laughs> I'll, I'll just so, begin chuckling. As you as do so, they this. hear rattling and they're a little bit startled. I apologize. Rattle. My skeleton I had was just a chew toy for our dog. It, I put it back in the dimensional plane I keep it in, but... It makes some kind of rattling noise when I do so. Yeah, that checks out, man. That, that makes sense. Everything Very smart. Ava's what not will, even going to say anything. What will you all do? We're going to head inside. Or did they allow me in? As you yeah. enter the city of Brookshire, you see the right. walls are tall with brick and stone as you enter the passage. Upon going inside, you can see a number of many small houses and structures ranging in size and a quarter and mile length. turn left on the east park street okay gps and upon doing so there is many many buildings all around you at your closest you can see an abandoned house to your left side and to your right you can see almost a building company 
Hmm. Is there a tavern anywhere in this city? You don't know. You would have to go and search. We should there probably is... go look for a tavern. In front just of you is the main desert. road, along with the right and left of you are some back alleys. I say we should go find a tavern, because that will probably be the easiest place to get some answers about it. I agree. And oh maybe God, some information. Great. Seems like a very good plan. Okay. So, as you push forward through the streets, going forward, you can see that on your left, you can see a large, you can see a large factory of sorts, with ruins plastered all over it, men going inside with stone and coming out with what seems to be old magical tomes. To the right of you, you can see another main railroad, another main road that goes all the way into the city. You can figure this Churton Road right here is the main one, in the sense that all the, uh, everything is lined up here. Which way will you go? Forward or to the right? What was to the right one more time? The main road, where all the shops okay, and everything are. And forward was the factory. Uh, to your right? To the right was the factory. I kind of am interested in that factory, considering that we know there's a lot of shady processes going on here. I kind of yeah. like the idea of going to a factory for some reason. I don't know why. It just feels in character for me. Okay. It really I does. think we should go to the factory to get We don't know, but... Yeah, I think I agree with Ava finding the original idea of finding a tavern, establishing some kind of, not like a base camp, but like an, a place where we could meet if it gets separated and or gather more information, something like that to start us off and learn more about this area we're in before we go anywhere else. I mean, that's so fair. We might be able to learn a bit more about the scientific part that's going on. Mm hmm I agree. And where we could possibly find our uh, way on in the yeah. Is there any way we can mark this area to come back to later? Can you? We have a map, so we should be able to. Oh, right. I did buy a map, didn't I? Nice, Sue. You have a map of the world, not the city. Darn it. Then going to the tavern, we could also make a... Um, does anyone have like? Oh, well, I could use fire. I could make a mark in the ground. Oh, if there's any point. wood nearby, I could use my wood carver's tools just to make some kind of indication for us. Ooh. Back save might be nice. It's a little more subtle. Yeah, it's something low key, not whipping fire out, blasting the blasting the street. Hiya! So that sounds like the fun way though. Over on, I need you to make an investigation for me. Okay. Uh huh, that's a six. Dirt. Uh, Dirt. There's ground here, guys. Stompy stomp. Cute lion things. It's okay. Rawr, rawr, rawr. <laughs> Can uh, someone roll me an investigation off my sheet? Sure. Uh, let me roll you investigation. You got a 17. So as you're ding, looking ding. around for wood, you find that there is wood posts logged onto each secular building. Each post having the certain sign that they are accustomed to written in an elvish language. I'm gonna pull one of the posts out of the ground and while it is floating in the air because I'm invisible, hand it back to Oberon. Okay. Why? You hand Fair the enough, I guess. Well, I need you to make a strength check for me. I'm sorry, did you uh, say me? No, Corona. So I'm gonna make a strength check. Do you say slut? Corona is also a slut, but that's neither here nor there. That's fair. Hey, okay. no. hey, no. You managed to pass 
You were able to pull the post out of the ground, but upon pulling the post out of the ground, oh my god. you hear a bell ring. Oh god. And it's it gets floating. Louder and louder and louder, and then a siren goes off. Son of a bitch, you shouldn't have pulled it out of the ground. Motherfucker. Ava's kind of going to step away. Like, she's like, what the fuck just happened? You see a number She's of people going to rushing. Play the role. You see a number of guards coming from the factory, rushing down the way towards the road towards you. Okay, I am going to run away from the party, carrying the signpost. As you run away, footsteps in the mud, going away down the other end of the roadway. The guards tend to follow you as there's a giant floating signpost floating away. She's just gonna be looking around as they just flabbergasted at everyone else. It's like, oh my god, what the hell's going on? One of the guards stops. Did you see that thing carry the post off? Where did it go? Uh, I don't know. That way, I think. She's just gonna point in a random direction. <laughs> I see. As so they dart off towards the main road. Well. That was not the smartest idea. When does he make the smartest choice? I, I don't think it's very frequently. Uh, just, you could have just carved something into the damn pole. You didn't have to take it out. <laughs> well, where's the fun in that? I, I just want to confirm, he's still invisible. Mm -hmm. uh, so. And at this point, I'm going to just chuck the post in some random direction and try and get back to the party. <laughs> I, I'm so, just watching this whole thing. As you're running down the down the right-hand road, you come to an intersection. Are you going left or right? Uh, I'm throwing it left, and I am very carefully turning around. As you throw it left, it slams into a wooden shed where it breaks the wall through. Inside is a number is a number of boxes that have been crushed and cracked. The sound quite the, the snap that they'd make sounds very dried out. As you make yourself you turn and stop turning around and kind of get off the road a bit as they all come up to pick up the sign and then surround the area that has been broken into as they search the inside of the shed going over the wall and through the boxes you can see that a number of things that looks pale and white stumbles out of some of the boxes pale and oh. white all right uh large or small They're rather small as if they've been boxed in numerously and they stumble out as in they are alive you don't know. You only know they make a uh, loud snap sound when they fall and break. Very dry sounding. Is there any that aren't in view of the guards right now? No. Shit pudding. Um, let me make a perception quick. At least see if I can understand what they are. You have to on your perception. You can understand these are... They are some form of biological product, but you're not sure what biological product they would be. Oh, no. I have an inkling. Can I make a medicine check? Okay. It's either a 17 or a 7. I'm going to say you got a 17. Okay. It's like on the edge. So, upon doing so, you notice that the body looks very cat-like. As it's, as some of the uh, carnivorous teeth pop down, 
and you can see there are teeth there and it almost would appear as if this is bone as you notice some similar skeletal structures to that of tabaxis or leonin oh dear or even cat okay milk. I'm going to make a note of the spot and try and meet up with the rest of the party after a second to see what they're going to do with all the bones. They seal up the wall once more and pa start patching up with nails and boards as they pick up the sign and start returning slowly to the entrance of the factory. Where the post was. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm going to meet up with the rest of the rest of crew. Rest of the crew, where were you going while this was all happening? We're going to head towards the... Towards the city center. As you or go, down the main road. As you go down the main road, you can see to the left of you is a housing company. For all kinds of business of taxes and returns and basically the head of the state office to the right of you is a large tavern rustic in center almost seeming if it's been here for a good hundred years or so but it's very it's very aquatic in nature it doesn't seem like it was made to be here so to speak this looks like my kind of tavern then down the road as you go further down to the right of you you can see a large building filled with all kinds of windows and such with men rushing around inside and you see the head display gears and cogs one for all it appears to be some kind of machinist shop and down the road at the end of it you can see that to the left of you is an old mansion down at the end of the road, an old mansion locked up with all kinds of fences and gardens. It seems well kept, but abandoned. As if no one is living there, but somehow it's still in pristine condition. Mm, that reeks of bad. Yeah. And then down at the very end of the road, you see the Academy of Wild Magic. Hmm. What will you say? So we head to the tavern. As you walk back yeah. down the road towards the tavern, passing everything, you see a number of people. As you view the people inside the road and around, you see this places kind of filled up with a lot of different races as you see lizard folk tabaxi warforge along with what is it dragonkin longtooths you even see some shifters sh going about and some aracopra as you enter well, the tavern this looks like a hub. As you enter the tavern, you can see a number of races as well. As behind the bar, you see a centaur. Oh my. Well, hello there. This looks like quite a fine tavern. You've got quite my style. Oh, he looks God. and winks. So yeah, you've yeah, just yeah. entered the door, but the place is rather full. You haven't gotten to the bar yet. Can we... Ava's going to slowly kind of slither her way through the crowd of people over to the bar. So as you all enter, Ava, I need you to make me a dexterity check to see if you're able to make it all the way through. Alright. That's a 19. 
Okay. You are able to slither your way past all the people, things, and otherwise, till you make it to the bar. Where you saw a centaur, yes, but it wasn't in charge of the bar. He was just handing out drinks behind the bar, going around the other side. Okay, she's kind of going to lean over the bar, see if she can kind of tap the bar a little bit, like, uh, need to drink over here? Like she's trying to get the bar keeps attention. As you then do so, you see as a... So as you do this, you see that some kind of blackish ooze slick up the side of the counter in the form and shape of a man with a top. As he has a smiling grin and two yellow eyes. As he looks up to you and waves. Well, hello. How might I help you? Well, aren't you interested? Or but yes, I'm rather interested. Yeah. So, what can I get you today? Well, okay. first, do you have any open rooms? And second, I'd like a drink. And maybe some information. Sir, uh, could you tell us about this tavern? I need you each to make a deck save if you wish to get over to the bar. But uh, let me finish up with Ava real quick before I do your guys'. Well, I do have a It was reserved, but it's open now. Room is a uh, half amphibian. Does this work? Oh my god, it's so hard to hear this character. Does this work for you, madam? Yes, I think that room would fit me and my companion. Um... He slips the- with his long six-foot arm, he reaches up to the top where he grabs a key and slending it down to you. Where he drops it. A drop of his black oozy slime drips onto the key and slithers back down past the bar. As he gives you this key, you notice the key is rather strange. It's quite jagged and curved in different directions. Run to the aquatic room down the stairs to the right. Now, Slux, do you wish to make your way through the crowd? Yes. Okay. Um, let me roll right now. That is a 20 to get through the crowd. You manage to make your way perfectly, perfectly through the crowd, as you've been in many taverns and all kinds of things. So you just kind of navigate your way through, maybe grabbing a few asses here and there, checking a few tanks. Oh, no, I wouldn't be grabbing a few asses here and there. <laughs> you wouldn't, or would they be grab? You wouldn't be grabbing any ass. No, it's fucked up. <clears throat> Yeah, some point. It would be very rude to just grab someone's ass. You know, like walking into a bar and just grabbing around a person's ass. Hell no. I have a little more class oh, than we'll, that. We'll, yeah, we'll, a slut's a slut, not a. He will. Uh, no, I see. So we will flirt with a hydra, and we'll flirt with an eldritch god, and want them to grab their ass. But the regular people. Well, no, I'd, I'd like people to grab my ass. I'm not just gonna grope a stranger I'd never talked to. You walk in, oh, right back. and you, you navigate your way superfluously through the crowd. Oberon, you. as you have entered the tavern now, you notice that some people look rather scared of you. Oh no. 
Rar. Um, I did make my dex save roll already, and it was a five. Oh no. So I, I don't, you... don't make it through the crowd. I need you to make an intimidation check. Can I try to not intimidate? Can I do like a charisma check and try to look less scary? Well, I need you to make an Ooh, wait a minute. I need you to make intimidation for your presence. If you uh... make intimidation, you can voluntarily fail the check. That's true. I want to fail it. As you enter Bolstery and Big with your shining armor, they notice that it is just a normal creature in a suit of armor. They go about with their business. I'm just a guy being a dude. Just smiling and waving at everyone. As this is a dude, bro. He good. He good. <laughs> Does Blueford make it through the crowd? Ooh. I'm not even. Let me roll for Blueford. That is a. We bringing our pet dog into here. Sorry, uh -oh. Leviathan. That's not super great. Oh wait, it has ten on his deck. Oh my god. Okay, that's a thirteen. Okay, so Blueford can make it through the crowd, weaving and ducking between legs. Um, where would you like him to go? Uh, I guess he can just go up with the others while I'm stuck. Blueford is going to attempt to make it through, but he doesn't know where he's going. <laughs> Upon going Valid. through, he, he gets out, but he is at the far right side of the bar, where he ends up, and he is face to face with a giant basilisk snake. It's hissing towards him, and coiled up around its pot. Along with this, there is a number of other pets around there. Large saber-toothed cats, undead dogs, and one particular, there is a there is a fire falcon perched on the mantle of the fireplace. Bluford and stairs. Uh... So, going back to Ava, what will you do, Ava? So, she got a water room, right? You found, you got an aquatic room. Okay, because it was really hard to hear him, so I wasn't sure what he was saying. Um... She's going to ask him about the different businesses in the town and if there were any scientific labs that were in the town. There are many businesses in the town. One in the ruin factory where we pride ourselves on making ruins for the world. Also, how the house company for heaven's sake. And with this, we also have the research for machines of cogs and clockwork, where they are mechanics researching all kinds of handled things. Wild Magic Academy, where you can learn all kinds of spells and things of the intelligent sort. But I'm just a tavern master. Slow and steady are my age. I'm not in need of use of magic. Thank you. And you said there was a research facility around? There is. The machinist 
just down the road from here, pushing all kinds of new technologies for us to use. Hmm. Just like eh? the current that I'm using. He points up. Are you going to look up? Yes, he's going to look up. Upon looking up, you see the skeleton head of a dragon with the ruins carved all the way into it and a, sh and a crystal shaved through its top of its head into its mouth and at the bottom of its jaw. Or over there, there is a fan pumping in air through it and through the crystal, it, brew it brews cold air down, acting as what we would assume to be an AC unit. Uh, okay. Huh. Huh. Well, that's a fancy thing now, isn't it? Can I get you something to drink this? Uh. Yeah, just some water for now. He turns his head and his long arm slings up, grabbing a glass from around five feet above him, where he then fills up with water behind himself without ever moving a dot from his face, as he's just staring at you, smiling. And he gives you a glass of water. She's gonna smile back and take the water, and... Take a sip before looking back to see if anybody else or her other teammates has started to come towards her yet. So here's a visual for you, so you know. Okay, cool. Cause I'm like, what is this thing I'm supposed to Ah okay, I see. Got it. I like him a lot, he's a cute boy. A little bit derpy though. Adorable. All right. <clears throat> so that's what Ava's gonna be doing. She's drinking her water and making, trying so to see so how many of her teammates. You make your way over to Ava, where you find the bus boy Centaur. And the slime bartender. What will you do? What? Sorry, I got distracted. What was that? You make your way over I'm... to where Ava is, where you find the bus boy, who is a centaur, and the slime creature, who is the bartender. Right, I would love to ask, um, hi, who would happen to own this fabulous establishment? I love the designs and the characteristics of it already. And it seems to be busy. The slime man holds up his hand. For I am the owner of this establishment. I would go to shake his hand and say, You have done quite a w amazing job, my friend. I am quite taken aback by the scenery and the designs you have placed here. It is very, how do I say, fun and entertaining. His arms and I give him a wink. From his body, but kind of slouching as gravity slowly takes his arm down as he's holding oh his my. hand up, but it oozes like one foot down to grab yours. It's a weak hand. Uh, apparently. As you grab I would onto love his, to try. As you grab onto his hand, you feel that it's quite squishy and very clammy feeling that makes sense for a slime uh, um all right uh yeah can i will i be able to ask what's on the menu what's available and if there's any dishes they have available that i could order and eat that would be i have, guess seafaring we do have a number of food
I would prefer the special of the day. That would be quite entertaining. I don't need to know what it is. I just need to know what it tastes like. The special of the day is brimstone. Did he say brimstone? Yeah. Like stone. I mean, it's just the title of the dish. Okay, okay. That sounds quite entertaining. I would order that. Yes, please give me one. He ushers to the busboy, and the centaur prances his way back into the kitchen and coming out with a bowl of the brimstone soup. Upon doing so and looking at it, the appearance of the soup is almost a grayish blackish color, with all kinds of of tacky breads chopped up into little bite-sized pieces inside this grayish slurry of a soup. With inside it, you can also see there's a number of vegetables, but particularly, you can see that the meat of it seems squid-like. Ooh! I'm gonna take, um, a few bites, and I guess we can continue, because this it's probably going to take some time. As you lift your spoon out of it, you notice that upon from your spoon, the liquid turns into mist in the air, flowing down almost like a grayish spirit. Upon eating it, upon eating the brimstone soup, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. That's a 22. Okay. For the next day, after you've eaten this soup, you are now semi-translucent. Any light-based spells will pass through you. Ooh. Well, nice. I am now ephemeral, even more so than I was before. Oh, Lord. As you continue to eat, you notice that you start to almost look a little bit translucent and parent. Hmm. This seems to have quite the interesting affectation. He Is opened, this... The man opens up his hand asking for 25 gold. And I will give it to him. I'm pretty sure I have that. Yeah, I have that. Okay. Now, Corona, it's been some time for you. What will you be doing? What do you mean? I said I was going to try and head back to the others. Okay, so you head back down and you follow the others into the tavern where you've met Oberon and you're standing behind them. They themselves do not know you're behind. I'm going to give Oberon a little pat pat. So as you, ah. as you pat their Who shoulder, was that? Oberon. Huh? It's Who's me. That? Me? Oberon's just talking a little bit too loud, a little bit confused here. Some people I'm gonna standing just... at some people sitting at the tables near you look over at you a little bit like are you talking to me? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought someone was talking to me. My 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 most apo my my apologies. I'm gonna jump up into Oberon's arms like, like I normally do, just so he knows who exactly he's talking to. Make a uh, strength save. All right, strength save. Easy peasy. Oh wow! All right, that's an eleven. I rolled a two on that. Wanna make a strength save? Oh no. <laughs> really gonna drop me here <laughs> the worst possible moment oh no god okay. damn it you always make the worst decision <laughs> uh uh one second no no not that one okay uh strength 
strength save. Okay. Uh, 16. Okay. Oh, no. We so go to go in Oberon's arms. Oberon was so startled they didn't know how to hold you, so they dropped you immediately, where you fell onto the floor and you became uninvisible. Your invisibility spell has oh, been no. broken. Upon doing so, there is now a skeleton on the floor in robes. God damn it. Are you going to turn around and see this? And just shake her head? I'm just like, A couple Fuck. of the men say, standing up, Hey, that's a skeleton there. Skeleton? Where? No, no it's not. I'm sorry, my skeleton seems to have fallen out of my uh, dimensional portal. You're not over there. Oh, fuck. You're I'm just over by me. I would like to cast Polymorph on Corona. Not even. <laughs> so, first off, a couple of them start sneering at you, Corona, as... They're not coming to attack you, they're just saying, Oh, there's a skeleton here. Oh. Ew. Oh, bones. Gross. As if anyone has bones in their body. Disgusting. Right? <laughs> Most of them hey, at least see the crowd are clean. kind of, like, shift away from the door. Huh. At the very least, it doesn't look like I'm making enemies. But if you want to turn oh, into something... I'm polymorphing your ass, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not getting a choice in this, am I? Well, I mean, you no. can be, you have a save you can make here. Uh, what's the what's the save? It's a wisdom save. Uh, you know what? I've been turning to everything Corona, already. So you do have yeah. your abilities written out in your character, right? Uh, which abilities are you referring I to? I posted them to you. Ah, yes. I do have them, yes. Um, but I think I'm are just going to voluntarily... Are you choosing to turn into a pile of bones, though? No. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and voluntarily fail it and become something. Please. Anything. I'm turning you into a chicken. Well... <laughs> I said anything. I so, said a chicken. So, you are now polymorphed <laughs> into a chicken. Hmm. I would like to, to pick him up, a little chicken boy, and I'm just gonna go to the crowd, to the people around. They're kind of just looking. I'm gonna, oh, my, my apologies. I'm, I'm learning magics, and uh, you know, I'm using these old bones to try to practice my 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 transmutation spells. Please forgive me. <laughs> he's gonna look he's gonna look at you and then look at the chicken and say uh well that's a mighty looking good chicken there. Mind oh, if no. I take it off your hands. I'm sorry, this is this is my, my magic assistant chicken. I, I do all of my then, spells. In long... learning magecraft. Oh, but I think I can do you one better, lass. As you see, I'm one of the Academy's professors. Oh, no. He's going to pull out a book about wild magic. I okay. could be hooking you up a bit more with this for your trade of your chicken, as I've had a good long time without chicken. What? What the fuck? I'm just gonna stare up at Oberon. It's like, send me for a book. This man just offer money to sleep with a chicken. No, no he offered a to... book of magic to sleep with a chicken. No, <laughs> he's offering... kind of a deal, I'd say. No, he's not offering. He doesn't, Wait. he doesn't want to sleep with the chicken. He wants to kill and eat he the chicken. He wants to fuck the chicken. No, that's what it sounded like. Oh, he's like, no. I was a long, long time with that chicken, so I thought it meant not sex with the chicken. No, he wants to eat the chicken. It's been a long time since he had chicken. <laughs> Oh, okay. I see now. I... That doesn't make it better. Since I've had chicken, it's been out with it. I've been without it for a very long time. Would you mind doing a trade, lass? 
This chicken uh, has blight in your lower intestine. Lower intestine. May maybe... Maybe another day I could offer a chicken to you. Unfortunately, I I do have some more practicing to do tonight uh, planned. Uh, my May apologies. I pet your chicken? Uh, he wants to pet your cock. <laughs> Give the cock a nice stroke. I'm going to I'm going to hold on tightly but gently to Corona but but nod my head saying that he may he may give him a pet. So as he goes to pet him, I want I need you to make an intelligence saving throw, Corona. Uh-oh. A saving throw. Wait a minute. I have the stats of a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What is a chicken's intelligence? A chicken's intelligence is three. It's two. Oh, like zero. It's negative four for a modifier. So, oh no. Roll me a d20 plus minus four. That's a five. Okay. He managed to slip a glyph of wording on you. What? A what? I'm gonna fucking explode? Oh no. I think that means he can find out where the fuck you are. I... Not a glyph of exploding, a glyph of warding. Yeah, but the default glyph of warding is for explosions. That's the default. So, he is going to just kind of like pet the chicken and say, You have a wonderful chicken here, lass. Thank you. It's... It's it's a friend of mine. Might I be asking where, very where you man. going? Might I be asking? Nice cock. Oh my god. God is rape on that one. Um I I'm actually uh new here. I'm here with my my traveling companions. He's gonna he's gonna gesture to Ava and Slut that are traveling the over there. Eh? It's been a long time since we haven't anyone traveled up here. Might I say, it's quite a stunning piece of armor you have on. Not many people can afford Mithril. Such a creepy man. Um, thank you. I've come I across see. it during our, our travels. I also see that you're part of the Fae. He's going oh. to, like, be lifting up your tail and, like, examining you. Oh. Uh, uh, he's just gonna touch you. He wants to eat me, I think, but that's okay. I don't uh, to squawk in his general direction. Well, yes, sir. <laughs> you. I, seem to be part of the fame. Quite a strong one. I, I do want to say, Oberon, you do have the ability to speak to me mentally at any time if anything happens. Yes. Well, you, you, you are quite a strong fay. Might I ask what fay you are? Um, I am. A tabaxi, in fact. Uh, I, I am a tabaxi that's just gone through quite a lot of training, you see. Uh, before, before I planned on studying my uh, magecraft, I, I had initially planned on being a fighter, you see. So I bulked up quite a bit. Magecraft, we're awful at magic. <laughs> uh... Well, so I would agree that you're then a battle captain. Very hmm. interesting. For it's been hmm. some time since I've seen a battle caster come through here. I must have you at the academy to teach a seminar. Oh. He grabs Ma you by the um. arm. Come with me, young sir. Come with me. No. Where am I going? What is going on? Um, if, maybe. Oh, Brian, do you have your rape, your rape whistle? <laughs> I think that's what Corona is right now as a chicken. He's my rape whistle. Poor Corona! You can't speak to me mentally at any time. I have this established connection with you last time. I, I, I will, I will, I will go slut, slut in, in my noggin. There's, there's a guy, he's taking me somewhere. What? Come pull me away, please. What? What's happening? Where are I'm you? I'm in the tavern. <laughs> please. <laughs> Okay, hold on. I must and I said, it's I must me, it's uh, um... me, where you can teach all of the good people how to do how to do battle magic. Oh, Ooh, wait magic. a minute. Wait a minute. Pause. 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 Um, 
Although I'm a chicken, can I still converse? No. Inside of it? You come across as clucked. Um, as a, as when you, this is polymorph, right? Yeah. 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 As polymorph, you adopt all the stats of a chicken. Um, you, you can think. And if you have telepathy, that's a different story, but you don't. You don't. Can... No, you can talk. Uh... But um, <laughs> I would like to get up and um, say my apologies to the the owner. And say, excuse me, my friend seems to be in a bit of a pickle. I will be back. So, and I, I want to run over to the other side where they are. Okay. So, I, I have need you to make another deck save. What? Yeah, let's do this. I have an in-game question, actually. How mm -hmm. much space Fuck. is between Oberon's actual skin and the armor? Um, almost nothing. Almost nothing, okay. It's like a second skin. <sighs> it acts as armor, but it's a second skin. I'm trying to find, figure out some way you can hide my bones on you without seeing. Because I could do the same thing we did in the gladiator match and actually help you. <laughs> um, I just want to say, but... roll the six, but Corona, there's there's always room to hide bones under someone's cloak. Winky I... face? Yeah, that's where my mind went to. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Oberon, let's go to the bones. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I don't know if I can hide your bones under my uh, armor, but I could hide my bone in you. Winky face. Oh, I mean, <laughs> my pelvis is wide open and ready, very literally. <laughs> Apparently, you're a fucking chicken. Quack, quack. You got a koi. So anyway, oh. let's move on. I, I do want to know: yeah. are female, roosters are male. Wait. Wait. Are you, <laughs> okay, no, no. Chickens are roosters and hens. A female chicken is a hen. A male is a rooster. All of them are chickens. So do I have a little ball sack for a hen? Yeah. Well, I, to I be fair, I, I, I did never specify if you were a hen or a rooster. I want you to, but... roll, I want you to roll me a d4. <laughs> oh, no. Even number, God you're a rooster. It. Odd number, you're a female. Uh, three. You are now changed into a hen. Oh my god, I can't. Cheap, cheap. <laughs> Lay me an egg, you fucking whore. <laughs> Don't right. squeeze me too hard, I might. <clears throat> it's kind of what the other guy wanted to do. Cheap! <laughs> uh. <laughs> So, um, I'm going to just you. speak back Are to Oberon. Gonna... I... Oh, go Wait. I can't seem to get through this crowd. I'm kind of stuck. And then I'm going <clears> to <throat> yell out, Excuse me, I must go to the other side of the bar. As I try to push my way through the crowd. Did you give me your deck save? I cannot. Yeah, I got a six. Oof. Oh, you are not able to make it. Instead, That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he's stuck. Instead, and we're going. <laughs> you are swept up by the crowd as you are channeled off in a different direction. As you are spat back out of the tide of men, women, and people. You're spat got mosh pit. You're spat out with Blueford, where again, there is a basilisk now in your face. Hissing now at you. Okay. There's a That's... what? Basilisk. A basilisk? Oh, right. Snakes. Snakes. Yeah, that's yeah. problem number two. Does Blueford want to eat me now that I'm genuinely a chicken? No, I'm gonna pet Blueford. Do I have to roll animal handling to pet him? No, he knows you. Good, so I'm gonna pet him. He wags his tail. He's very confused. Right I'm gonna... he Does Blueford him. technically speak a language? Oh, he speaks puppy. <laughs> Beast. 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 Beast.
have to use beat. Like the beat language. So like if I you don't have so you you could use a you could mix under common and draconic to speak to him. Popo. Yeah, I don't have either. Okay, never mind. If you uh, have a beast language, you can mix it with undercommon to speak with the animal. No, I have common and sylvan. All my skills are in fucking. Um, so... Oh, yeah, pretty much. I, I have it as um, one of my skills. Are you going to try to call Blueford back, Oberon? Yeah, uh, yes, yes. I'm going to, I'm going to, the guy's holding on to me. I'm going to go, uh, I, I can't go anywhere. You see, I, I have my companion here. Blueford! Blueford, come here! So, roll dex for Blueford with advantage. Blueford! He made his way through, he could find his way back. Bark, bark, bark. He has. Oh bark, no! Bark. It's advantage. Alright, that's a way. one. That's an 11. Oh my god. Oh, with advantage? <laughs> with advantage, I said. Oh, with advantage. Let me do the second one. I'll... Next one's a 12! Oh. Wait. He rolled a one, and then he rolled a two. So My goodness. Plus but 10, it is a plus so 10. A yeah, but still, like, overs. So you got a 3 earlier, too. He Damn. He manages to make his way halfway through, but he can see you and see that you're being dragged off. He's. It's going to take a bit, but he's going to be able to get to you. Okay. Can I hold on to him and be dragged along? You can. Because I'm next to him. Make an animal handling to see if you can catch him, because he darts off. Happy Borker. Other fucking three. Why am I getting so many twos? Uh, well, no. This place has a lot of really shitty rules. This tavern is evil. So, you managed to be stuck so there with a fire falcon, undead dogs, a thunder pup, and a basilisk which is now rotating around you to coil around your body. Uh, question. Mm -hmm. Um, so Polymorph lasts an hour, mm -hmm. but it is a concentration spell. Mm -hmm. So, can I... Am I aware enough to try and distract Oberon in some way? Um, Why not? No. You still have the intelligence of a chicken. Yeah, yeah you have um, literally a all of that work for arcane magics, and now I'm just a chicken. <laughs> I'm considering two options. I think I'll go with the first one, because I don't want to kill everyone in here, but... Uh... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you know... What are you doing? <laughs> well, it's not my turn, but I'm like, I'm considering. Ava, what are you going to do? I'm going to kind of see what's going on and put my empty water glass down and head towards the So all you know is your friend left in a hurry and there has been some chatter about a skeleton. Okay, she's going to be like, uh, where the hell did everyone go? As she kind of looks around, and she's just like, "Who is left in the cabin?" Oberon, I know, is for is about to be dragged out. So Oberon is currently being dragged out of the cavern, just on the arm of Goodwill, as he's leading her down the road towards the academy. While I'm sorry. Is his name Goodwill, or is he considering this Goodwill? He's considering this Goodwill. Oh. And... Okay, so Ava's going to get up and kind of try to head towards Oberon while, while yelling, Oberon, wait, don't leave me. Come back. Oh. Like, she's trying to be a distraction. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, you, you see, 
there's my traveling com companion. I, I can't leave her here, you see. I, I have to stay. We have to get settled. We've only just walked into town, like, merely moments ago. We're, oh, we're quite but, new. But I have accommodations at the academy where you can stay within the guest room there. Come, come now. Your friend can come along. This motherfucker. He's not taking no for an answer. Yeah. He isn't, but... And I'm worried if there's Leon and Bones in the streets. And I didn't get a chance to tell you. <laughs> I mean, luckily this man's already afraid. That's why he lied about being a tabaxi. Ava's going to try her best to get you over there. Alright. Get this deck Oh, <laughs> uh, that's a 20, bye. That's a what? A 20. You managed to perfectly, perfectly make your way out. And, as you turn the corner outside of the tavern, they're just about going down the road. A little bit away from you. <clears throat> okay, Ava's going to... As you tend to make it out what? at this point, Blueford has also made it out. Okay. Can I use Long Strider to literally get right next to, uh... To get, like, to Oberon and, like... <clears throat> yeah. All right, I'm gonna use long shadow. Upon doing so that, you make your way all the way over to Oberon, where the man is holding their arms. Blueford following uh, uh, behind. About thirty feet away. gonna grab Oberon's arm. This is like, what do you think you're doing, leaving me? I'm so sorry. This wonderfully kind man he's gonna like be looking at ava at this, the corner of his eye like please help me he's like ah oh, he's taking us to the academy he wants to offer us room and board and seems to want me to teach a seminar well oh, we I don't see. have time for that this... right now um, unfortunately old man to me for you are fair yes. as well a fair mm, interesting yeah. I wouldn't like indeed for you both to come with me. You can teach a seminar on battle majory and you can talk about the infernal realm. Come with me, come with me, come, come. He's grabbing both your arms and dragging you at a faster pace now. Oh god. Okay, okay, okay. It's very important. Is there a way I can cast um, Misty Step to get outside the bar? Uh, you'd have to get yourself untangled from a basilisk first. That's fine. Wait, wait, hold on though. I'm going to use Charm Person on this dude, and I'm going he's to charm him. I, I will say, okay. Ava, he sounds like he's already charmed. Uh, okay, so she's gonna can actually, I mean, Ava's just gonna say, I we can't right now because we're I'm expecting Oberon, we need to go to back to the tavern oh is the baby going to come soon oh, oh this is yes. a bad idea we but we all know that the baby needs alcohol roll, roll a persuasion for this part oh, no. uh, is this a persuasion or a deception deception sorry deception oh god it's 27 Okay, so you managed to make your stomach look like you're almost pregnant and going to be, uh, going to be bearing soon. And the man says, oh, come now, for we can get you the best of ministries at the academy, for we have a wonderful uh. woman board, and many of doctors, the finest in the van to tell. Come, come along, faster, faster now, no. we're going to be carrying soon. <laughs> You must go faster. Hurry. I knew it. I knew this no. shit was gonna happen. No, no, really. Can I get oh, untangled? Really? Can I roll I for need, entanglement? I, okay, I so... can't. I can't do it with people around. Oh, that's why we'll go to the academy. There's a wonderful hospital there. No, no, I'm surprised I mean, I don't, they have I don't want any make doctors check. around. It's I, it's I, a I, natural birth. We we want to birth in a tavern where we met. Yes. Come now, Mount of Medicine will yeah, allow that. Come with me, come along. <laughs> oh, hold on. I, I just want to say, I'm surprised that Oberon hasn't been able to make a strength check to get the fuck out of this. I don't want to hurt him or be suspicious. 
I would rather hurt him than be pulled off into his uh, quote unquote academy and be forced to instruct. This sounds can like I, a very rapey scene. Can I like interrupt I'm... for just a second? Just you, just one second. Yes, you may have your turn. Um. Cheap, cheap. So. <laughs> I know oh, that I don't get my stats, but I am still technically a level whatever chicken, mm -hmm. level 18 chicken. So I do have my proficiency bonus at least. Can I make a persuasion check against Oberon to put me somewhere that is more fluffy, namely their head? Oh my god. Yes, you can. Oh my god. Why? I didn't want to be comfy. <laughs> I fucking hate you. You should be trying to yes. help us. Oberon speaks a beast language, don't they? Okay. Like okay. inside of my armor? That's, it's a minus three, but that is also a plus twelve. So <laughs> what um, was the original roll? It was a seventeen. So and you so... get placed on their head, but you now have a spike up your ass due to the mithril armor. Well, I was gonna say, I if just... he wants to be somewhere comfier, I could, I can put him inside my armor. That works. Winky yeah. face. I'm just, I'm just so looking up at you and giving you big chicken eyes. The only entrance to your armor is between your thighs. <laughs> wow. You can put your cock on your cock. Oh my god. I'll, I'll uh, I don't think I'll do that. <laughs> I yeah, thought about not... it real hard. I don't think so. I am okay. now a hen. I don't know if this is okay. <laughs> I can't. Oh no! I fucking can't right now. Um. Oh, ooh, I know, I know what I'm gonna do. Yes. Uh, because he's fucking panicking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use wild shape. Good. Smart. Uh, I, I want to use wild shape to turn into uh, a big ass eagle, and and with co chicken corona in my talons, I would like to fly the fuck away. Okay. This is not a comfy spot! Wild shit for What me. about me, the fuck? Sorry, dude! I'm out of here! I got okay. a chicken to protect! So you wild shit, <laughs> and as you do, so you clutch onto Corona, and you manage to fly away as a metallic eagle. I just have puppy dog eyes and chicken no, food. Oh, oh, this is not good. Ava's gonna try her best <laughs> for to, like, with you. pull the fuck away. You know what? Fuck that. <laughs> so the you know man what? says, "Oh no! Oh, for I seen. Mm, 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 mm. Well, <laughs> well, that's interesting. But I'm sure he'll be coming back shortly, though. Come on, Long Miss. We have to get you to the family. We cannot let you okay. be spared in the middle oh, of the Oh no! <laughs> All right, now. I'm. <laughs> I really want to roll okay. to get out of this constriction. I, Not your turn yet. So... I can't. <laughs> so everyone's had a turn. Wait, I have a question. Yes. Because I'm dumb as a rock. Yes. And I don't understand magic. Mm -hmm. Does that mean I'm terrified of Oberon, who is technically yes. my predator? You're, you're clucking and you're screeching like. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna it die. is now your. It is now um, Blueford's turn. Blueford has caught up with you guys. With Ava. What will you instruct? Uh, what will Blueford do, Oberon? What would he do? I I would think that he would try to help Ava out. Blueford. Maybe is... try to like grab onto her clothing and try to give her a tug. So Blueford stands behind the man and he growls as the man oh turns around and he sees this large, beefy dire wolf standing there. How is this your dog, so, Yeah, it's it's my it's my partner's dog, and he doesn't like when I'm far away from him. So it would just be better if you let me go. So yeah, just just let me go. We'll definitely come. To the academy, but we can't be apart, which is why uh, my lovely dog Blueford here is following us. It mm. would just be safer for you if you let me go. Just <clears throat> really. One moment. So he's gonna go down trying so Blueford. hard right now. He's gonna go down to Blueford and um.
god. Uh, question. Mm hmm. Does Bluefur have resistance to sleep? Uh, not that I know of. Okay. I don't think so. He's gonna go down and says, What a nice dog! And he's gonna snap his fingers, and Bluefur's gonna be hit with sleep. Oh no! Oh god damn it! Oh man! Uh. Oh, it seems your dog is rather tired from its long journey. Let me help you out. He's, he's going to pick it up. Oh my god, you gotta be strong to pick up that boy. He seems a little encumbered, but, you know, he, he can do so. Did he use one hand or two? Two. Oh, Winky face. Everybody. He's cradling <laughs> your dog right now. Come along now, miss. Come on. Come on. Ava is totally, totally panicking now. She's like, no, really, please. I can't go. I'm afraid of the doctor. <laughs> is it my turn yet? <laughs> yes, it is your turn. Thankfully. Okay, how do I get out of this? Well, you currently have a basilisk wrapped around you, snuggling you. Yes. That's what I was asking how to get out of. Well, I need you to make strength save or use a spell of some sort either to get it off you. Ideally, I was going to use um, Misty Step, which would just teleport me. You're a little... I mean, that would... Okay, that would work. You're technically standing still. Yeah. So, can, can I use Misty Step to just get outside the bar? You Cute. may. As you use Misty Step, right. you turn into mist, fading away as the snake is then dropped back down on the floor with a thump. It looks rather bad. Right. And I get outside and I look around. Do I see them? You see um, a pair. One carrying Ava. a dog and the other one kind of looking a little bit frazzled, being carted off by that right. man towards the um, down the road. I'm going to run my full 35 feet closer to them. And I'm going to You're still thirty five feet away. You Huh? You're still thirty five feet away. That's fine. Um and I'm going to um ah, do I have no I don't. What do I cast? This is a good spell that I can use. Mm-mm. Ah, okay. It's gonna need to make an intelligence save for me. Okay. Nine. Nine? Great. That does not pass the 19 DC. I used Feeble Mind. It now has a one charisma and one intelligence. The man dropped and... on his knee. How much damage Hold did on. it do? It did eight damage. He's <laughs> dead. Psychic damage. You what? killed him. Good. What? He drops to his Ava's knees. Ava's just gonna... As he drops to his knees, his lifeless body hits the ground, splat in the mud. I saved you! This is not good! This is exactly... What? I'm sorry, he, he abducted two women from a bar? and then put a spell on their chicken. This is exactly what he deserves. Oh my god! Uh, uh. Ah! This so, is bad because... Yeah. What's bad was that he was basically date-raping our friends. So... Because he's flopped dead, a bunch of the people are startled and gather around as guardsmen start to rush towards... as there's a crowd and they say, What has happened? What happened here? And they get there... And well, this man tried to kidnap my friends! So I used the spell to to stop him, and he seems to have been knocked out. So the guards are over there, and I'm guessing you're going with the crowd. So as you say this, the guards turn to you and say, So, you are the one that did this, then? No, what he is... tried to kidnap my friends. Kid... The head of the council of the chairman would never try to kidnap anybody. 
What are you That's saying? not what my friends said when they were continually rejecting him and he was pulling them along. Oh dear. He looks at I, you, I, Ava, I, and he says, I, Miss, can you confirm this man's story? Well, I told him I didn't want to go see the doctors there because I'm nervous. As you can see, I'm with She's gonna point to her face though. It is and they make me nervous. The, it is a law in the city that all women must be birthed inside the hospital. Oh no. I don't want to. As I'm afraid of that. Dear, as for our dear compatriot, it seems he was only doing the just and law thing. Oh, because hold on, of... hold on. Before that, Ava, he was trying to drag you to a school, not a hospital. Just so you Yeah, know. I was. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I'm gonna say he was trying to drag me over. I didn't you mean the academy, where they also house the only hospital in the city, then yes, my friend, you were being dragged to the academy. Oh no! He didn't say... Oh, not I, I just story. didn't want to go! It should it's be not my his choice, choice if I want to He goes to down to check not. his pulse, and he gets up, and he has a horrified look on his face. You killed him! Oh no. God's I mean, it was psychic damage. It wouldn't be, it, it would be brain dead, but okay. His brain is fried. Yeah. He'd be dead. Uh, this one is not my doing. That's fine. Hey. I will, I will gladly take responsibility for killing a man who tried to abduct my friends. So they grab you. He was doing so they grab you, and they are going to. They say, turn out your pockets. I have nothing in my pockets. I don't even have pockets. Do you not see this robe? It has no pockets. You also just have goat legs. Pretty much. Yeah. So, if there is a woman that comes over and says, I do believe you have some stuff on you, sir, as you are an adventurer. Please do make yourself useful and comply with the guards. Well, they told me to turn on my pockets. I don't have pockets. I could give them my bow if you want my bow. Take it. I don't use it. Ava's just gonna look like slightly horrified. The man says, just like, "Give us your equipment, or we will strip you, and we will cut you to the gallows." You will cut me to the gallows for saving my friend. For you can you take murdered. my equipment. I, I have nothing to hide. For you murdered. He did it. Ah, uh, counselor, you shall pay for this. And he tried to abduct my friends. I'm not going to I apologize for a man trying to kidnap my friends. He, he, sends the he did this to, to himself. You. So, they are taking the weapons out of your inventory. They're taking your blowgun. I, 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 gave, I dropped them to the floor already. Okay. okay. You have nothing in your inventory. Even your gold is stripped okay. off you. Okay. That's surprisingly absolutely easy for me to do. Um, so, as you do so, they are carting you off deep into the other side of the city as they go all the way around and they cart you off to what seems to be a windmill like establishment. Ava's going to try to follow as much as she can. Uh, question. Um, because me and Oberon are skyward right now, mm -hmm. I'm assuming we can kind of see the situation? Oberon can see this. Oberon, why the fuck did you leave? Bro, oh, I so... didn't know what to do. I'm so sorry. Oh not, my God. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. So, Ava, can... you're currently in the middle of this as two guards, um, say this Just a question. They take my book, right? Yes. Okay, I, I'm gonna have to summon that again later. Go on. And so the two men take your arm, Evan, and say, "Quickly, come with us to the hospital." No, 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 no! I'm ready to. <laughs> they they I'm put not... you. <laughs> they they put you on like a like carry bed, and they're carrying you off to the hospital. As they think. Told them you're not due for days. I'm not due for a while, please. I don't want to go to the hospital. Let me go, please. Like, she's gonna start, like, flipping her shit, like... 
she's going to go real dramatic. The, the men set you down. Um, They are going to take your dog. So they said, is this your dog, ma'am? She's going to hold on to Blueprint for dear life. And she's like, go take it. Like, she is being as dramatic as possible. They back away and they gather up, um, they gather up slut stuff and cart it off in a satchel and in a bag off to the windmill. So they're not going to even take me to prison and then put me to court. They're just going to fucking execute me. Fucking psychopath. All right. Okay, so. Sluts, as you enter the windmill, you have you a bag put over your head. This does not seem like a proper means of arresting someone. Oh, shut up. As they. Oh, as I they should cart shut you up. Off, I've been carted off with no good reason. They shackle your Are hand. the guard warforged? don't know. You never took a look at their face. I mean, I'm a chicken. It wouldn't matter anyway. You still have your intelligence. You're just a I'm chicken. Kidding. So, you get pushed Chickens into... don't have much intelligence. You get pushed like into... More... So, uh, as you were pushed into a cell, he says to you, ha, no fate can escape this cell. The cold will get to you soon. I going to escape. He pushes you up against the cold iron and then pushes you into the cell. Is there hay on the floor? There is. Good, I'll eat some of it. So, you're pushed into the cell and it's locked behind you. The bag is taken off your head as you are now shackled with your hands in front of you and separated by a board so you can't touch them together. Okay. They also put a um, they put a guard around your mouth, making it so that you can't properly close your mouth or properly speak. That's fucked up. But all right. And they walk away. Well, I can't telepathically communicate anymore. I don't have my book. How long does it take to resummon? So, you saw the soul go down, Oberon. Yup. I, uh, oh, I'm trying to figure out what to do here. For now, I want to try to just keep flying relatively out of sight, but overhead following uh, where Ava's going. No. Mm, maybe no, I should try to I break. Made... I made it such a fucking scene that they just left me alone. That's, yeah. So I should get you first, and then we can go and get uh, our boy together, the slut. So I'll, uh... Just leave me in prison for a night. Ava. Ava. Don't need to break out every what? fucking... Is that oh. fucking chicken? Who's oh, talking to me? <laughs> Loot the dead dude's body. They never moved it. I didn't move that far either. Okay, yeah. Roll me sleight of hand. They're just like, fuck this guy. <laughs> roll me sleight of roll, chicken. I'll roll sleight of hand. I am a demonic chicken. I will take all your shit. Uh, that's a 10, but... Oh, no. Okay, so you don't manage... You can't really steal anything that is inside his cloak, but you can... You do manage to take his gold sack... And you are managed to snag two potions from his belt loop and a dagger. Hmm. Okay. Um, and you find. And I'm then that then I'm gonna go back to sleep. You find two okay. health potions. Okay. Cool. I'm keeping this. They All are, right. Each are equivalent to a level three cure wounds. Hmm. Hell yeah. Um, oh, two health wow. potions. You find a dagger that looks to be a sacrificial dagger. Uh. Okay, sacrificial dagger. And daggers, he has. Yeah. And he has on him, two hundred platinum. Oh, nice. That's amazing. Two hundred platinum. Okay. That's like, ten times the gold I have. 
<laughs> Which was right. 200. Put the platinum Hold in. Hold on, let me put this in my you note. You find 200 platinum, but some of the coins are slowly corroding. Oh no. Oh, uh, well, I'm still gonna... You could clean them. Just put them in lime oil. Um, lime juice. Done. Platinum. Okay. So... They take his body up and they carry it, putting it into a leather potato sack where they tie it up and bring it off to the crematorium. Alright. Not even gonna inform his next of kin? Damn. Probably doesn't have any. You are currently with Blueford as Blueford wakes up from his sleep, looking at you rather groggy. She's gonna pet him. It's like, oh, Blueford. Oh my, my god. Sleepy boy. I'm still gonna call work. He's, uh. He's gonna look at you and he's kinda looking around, not really knowing what's going on. It's okay, just, just. Shh. It's alright. We'll just stay here for a minute. Oh, then we're gonna go back to the tavern, okay? It's your turn, what are you doing? Uh, if the coast looks clear around Ava, I'm gonna I'm gonna fly back down. Ava, so, you're so you know, you oh. can tell them that I I went in willingly. Yeah. Because I did. Yeah. So it's all right. you fly on back down, and you drop the chicken onto the ground. Are you changing back? Uh, yes, I will change back. You change back into your regular form. Ava is gonna smack him. <laughs> That's fair. I'm gonna do One a hour trick. has passed. Uh, I'm going to turn back slowly as I begin pecking Ava's foot. As you slowly change back, you are now back into the form of a skeleton where you're on the ground where you were pecking someone's foot. <clears throat> Hi, Ava. <laughs> cluck, cluck. Yeah. Ava hit, uh, used her strength check, and she got a six, so she's going to try to hit him as hard as she can, but it's going to be like a little tap. Oh, You stupid... Oh, I, I'm so sorry. Me? I'm so sorry, Ava. I wasn't sure what to do. Please forgive me. What happened? Oh, so sorry. What is going on? Why are you apologizing? Uh. She's gonna uh, make her fake stomach disappear. And why? Oh no, our baby! Ha ha. Uh, uh. What Listen, you if you hadn't said that, it wouldn't have been an issue. <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. I, was I didn't know what else to do. Both of us away. You fucking being the deadbeat dad and fucking leaving. Also, <laughs> where's Slut? Uh, I think I what? saw him being dragged off. I'm not sure where he went. Ava, did you see? Yes, he took the fall for killing a uh, old guy. And that's because he was trying to pull us away. He saw us. He did some spells. Old dude fell. And the guards came and they accused him of murder. Which wasn't technically murder, because I didn't want to go. But they accused him of murder, so he got taken to some place over there. And she, that thing, that big spinny wheely thing with the giant, the windmill, that. They got taken there. Technically, I did murder him, but that's neither here nor, it was more in self-defense. <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Self-defense of a man that couldn't see a spell coming. Yeah, self-defense, protecting my friends. From being kidnapped. That's self defense. They, they don't know that they're your friends. Also, I said no, we're my friends. Also, to them, you just kind of killed the head counselor of the town. <laughs> yeah, also to just... everyone else. The head counselor just kidnapped people from a bar no, and no, was like, just like forcing like everyone... them away. That's so... that's called that's called just kidnapping. Anyone so, have then stopping that is self defense. What? Does anyone have what? 
Does anyone have a mirror or a sack of something? Sack of balls. I got a sack of coins. That'll do. Uh, can I borrow that for just a second? No, there's a lot of money in here. What the fuck? Do you want to get slut back? Yes. But okay. I also want all the money that's in this sack. You can have the money back after. I want to keep the money. You know what? That actually, you know what I'll do? I'll just put it in my bag. I, I would just say put something else in the fucking sack. What the fuck? So, <laughs> as you dump all the platinum into your kit, you notice that now your upper chest is now filled with coins and your kit. It is now Twerk. sagging quite profusely down and is showing far more cleavage than what it was used to. She's gonna um. adjust her shirt a little bit and just be like, okay, this works. All right, you can have the sack back now. I don't need the sack. <laughs> What'd you need then? I needed the coins. What? I will give you 10 coins. Uh, hell with it. I'll just use the gold ones I have. That's fine. I'm just gonna pour them out, and I'm gonna cast animate objects on it. Okay. Now there is a small army of 171 little mini coins. Okay. And I vote we lead a charge. With the coins? With coins. Yes. With a lot of coins. <laughs> Please uh, tell him I went willingly. Uh, no. Sort of good. Okay, so you are a skeleton mage with now a hundred coins surrounding you that are animated. Mm hmm. What will you do? Fucking Fantasia. Where is the windmill? You have no idea. Does Ava know where the windmill is? Nope. I just kind of like point out, like up that way. Okie dokie. Well, I'm gonna start walking that way before he dies for some stupid reason. And me and my friends are gonna go get him. Welcome to come. I don't like this city. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's I'm just sleeping in the cell. So evening is starting to fall. Hmm? It is evening. Night it is, is evening. Okay. Is there an alleyway in the general direction that Ava had pointed to? Yes. Um? In front I'm of going you stands a mansion. Decorative and large. Fully engrossed in all the tidings a mansion should have, but it looks abandoned. Next oh. to it is an alleyway, which right pushes right up against the tavern. I'm going to pause my hellish retribution for a moment and look at the other two. Has this mansion always been here? Uh, I, I honestly didn't notice. I've been a little occupied with a goddamn chicken. What chicken? Don't worry about it. <laughs> He's going to sneeze and the feather's gonna come out of his nose. <laughs> Polymorph doesn't make you lose your memories, bro. No, but my intelligence was ridiculously low. <laughs> no, no, Polymorph only changes your physical stats. Does it? Oh, shit. Yeah. Get wrecked, I guess. Oh, it's like Wild Shape. It only changes your physical stats. Why didn't anyone tell me this? I could have been casting I did. Help you. <laughs> literally said it. God damn it. No, I'm sorry. Oh, god damn it. Okay. So, um. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Seeing this, what will you do? Um. I'd like to make a perception check on the mansion. Very weird that no one's living in such a giant place. Okay, let me roll. 
That is a 31. You manage to see a body standing at the front window. It's very dark, black holding almost like a grayish cloak as it's just standing there and then fading back into the darkness of the lone mansion. I'm going to turn back to them. As much as I want to explore the haunted mansion, I'm guessing our goat is going to be a ghost very soon, too. No. Yeah, we should uh, try to find him and help him out. We should get there quickly. Um, Can I use a perception check to try to figure out where it may be? The windmill? You may. Come on. Oh, that's 31. Damn. Nice. Massive. Sexy. You can tell that it's in the western part of town. However, you did notice that there is a large number of of alleyways and hallways and all kinds of leading roads confusingly strewn up about in that area. Oh, this is problematic. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ooh, I have an idea. I'm going to use one of the spells I actually got from my necromancer list. I'm going to use Find Familiar. So she's going to tell them that she knows it's on the west side. Um, it's over in that direction, but she doesn't know exactly where. She just knows it's in that direction. Okay. Okay. This this works. Um, hmm. Hmm. Obron. Yes. What do you think would be the most helpful form of surveillance in that direction? Like by land or by air? I'm not sure. If you would like me to, I could do a bird again and flap up and take a peek. Mm. Yeah, I would think if she did, went higher. Okay. Okay. Um, in that case, I'm also going to go ahead and make my familiar into an owl. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. As you transform back into a bird and you make your familiar an owl, they both fly up into the sky. As you see this, though, you can see that it is true that it looks very confusing but you can see that it's much larger than when you once transcended and expected. There's many walls, almost like a maze, a labyrinth of roads and walls and alleyways of sharp tossed buildings and all kinds of residential leading to the eventual windmill in the back of the west side of the city. Holding a giant residential populace. seems very confusing. Hmm. I'm going to switch my senses with my familiar, which is part of the find familiar spell. And what would I have to roll in order to find the best possible pathway. You would have to scour the landscape all night to find a pathway which you could probably take you there, but you would have to sit in a spot and concentrate for the whole night. Pisp. Okay. Well, anyone else have a suggestion? Yeah, guys, fucking chill. It's At the end of a long rest, and my book comes back, and I can just fucking true. teleport to the nearest water. We could just go and get a room and call it a night. 
Remember, I can teleport to water when once a day. Oh, Ava has a room already at the tavern. Yeah, we we could go back to the tavern and call it a night for meow. Right for meow. Yeah, that's what I said. I said what I said. Uh, so, I will agree, but before we go back to the tavern, I want to just sneak over to the window of the mansion and look inside. As you sneak on over, so you have to enter the gate first. It's a wooden Can I just gate. throw my head over? No, there's like a gate and a pathway up. <sighs> I'm going to look back at the two of them with like big puppy dog eye sockets. House? No. Okay. There is a wooden gate and a lock that you have to uh, get undone if you wish to enter. <laughs> oh, Brian, it's made of wood. It's made of wood. All right. <laughs> Make it quick, <laughs> okay? You know what? Ava's right. Yeah. Fuck you, chicken boy. Let's 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 get out of here. We can come back tomorrow once we have a slot with us, okay? Yes, we be, we're better in number. Now, move yes. your bony ass. Or what's left of it? <laughs> do you wish that to is try not to, my fault. Do you wish to try to vault the small gate? Mm. Nah, best to not uh, post when I say device. Gate, it. It's like the Hobbit gate. It's up to your hip. If he wants to do it, that bitch is going in there alone. I'm not even going inside. I'm just going to have a look through the window. So are you going to try to go through the gate? Just jump over it or what? Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go and carefully vault my way over. Okay, you. I think you should roll me a dex check. Okie dokie. Acrobatics, please. Oh, acrobatics. Okay. Oh, well, good thing. <laughs> it's an awful roll. Uh, 21. You make your way over quietly, as you see a bricked path going all the way up to the mansion. On both sides of you, there's a number of decorations, flowers, and bushes of all kinds. You make your way up to the, po to the porch. You see there's a door and a window next to it. Will you peer through the window? Uh, trying to be sneaky, I'm gonna just, like, peer through the corner. You peer through the corner of the window, and you see a man standing there, large and tall, holding out his hand with a deck. Shifting, oh, no. he walks towards the door, and he opens it up. No! A dark figure stands there, holding out his hand with an orange deck in front of you. Don't you fucking dare. Will you take a card? Don't you fucking dare. Hello, sir. I'm selling Girl Scout cookies. Can I come back tomorrow? I fucking hate you so much. The man grabs you by the shoulder, having a bony finger in hand. His eyes light up with a tealish blue color as he looks at you. Unveiling its cloak. It's very rude to not to be begging on the doorstep of someone if you wish to at least come here. You have to take a chance and a chance you took. So be a oh, good person it. and draw from my deck. Many things can happen. Oh god, is it the deck of many things? No! I mean, everything yes, it is. and its mother has already happened to me, so. Um. But. I'm gonna agree to take a card, but before I do, I'm going to cast Protection from Good and Evil on myself. Okay. Nothing happens. Nothing happened. Oh. oh, fuck. 
And he just last thing. You. He says, Sir, I'm in no need to attack you, nor in any need to be good ill to you. You come across my doorstep as a common courtesy. It's just polite to do as someone may ask on their private property. After yes, all, you are invading mine. The least you can do is to settle it with a drawing of the card. Uh, I'm having so many flashbacks from the other campaign. Okay. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Um, it really is just a roll. So, yeah, I'll draw. What do I have to roll? I shall roll for you, if you wish. Okay. Fuck. One moment. I mean, I already have a glyph of wording on the back of my head. I'm tempted to explode. I'm already a skeleton. What else? Oh, yeah, I forgot about the glyph of wording. Get wrecked. <laughs> I mean, technically, you're not a chicken anymore. I don't know if it stays. It'd still apply to spell to me. I would suppose it would. It's not like the spell magic works. Hey, you're lucky. You That's the, a new one. You got the moon card. Moon? Ooh. Ooh. What was moon again? Fuck. This card <laughs> sometimes bears the image of the moonstone gem in an upright number and with the appropriate number of wishes shown as it gleams there of Theron. Sometimes it depicts a moon with the phase indicating the number of wishes. Full, four, gibbons, three, half, two, or quarter, one. These wishes are the same. Those granted the ninth level wizard spell must be used within a number of minutes equal to the number received. Why did it be happening? Three. Um, okay. Three? Hot damn. Um... I rolled a random number generator and you got three. Okay. Uh, is this guy being impatient at all? He stands there waiting. Okay. He's he's okay. He's chilling. I'm gonna look over at um. You have three right. minutes to decide. How many minutes? Three. Three. Oh, okay. Your wish. Must do it now. Okay. Oh, uh. God, I can't. First thing, I would like to have my flesh and blood back without removing my uh, other statuses. As a DM, I'm permitting you... So, as you ask for this, what happens... As a light comes down, restoring you with a full gleaming glory, you are now once again a drow. However, you no longer have the passive classes of the damned or the necromancer. Ooh, fascinating. Huh. Okay. You no longer have a passive class. However, you have still yet the tattoo of the Dark Serenade. Interesting. Okay. Okay, okay. Um second thing is I would like all of Slut's belongings returned to him. Bro, I had a short bow and a book. I don't know what you wanted me to get. Okay. Slut, you now have all your equipment back. As a force has dropped the bag on your face as it clanks to the ground. I love you. That's why I do these things. And the third thing is I would like Oberon to not have the metal virus anymore. Interesting. Why would you wish for my equipment back, but not wish to have me back? Because you can get yourself out. <laughs> Repeat your wish. I would like Oberon to not be afflicted by the metal virus any longer. 
so okay that's your wording Upon doing so, Oberon is not afflicted with the metal virus any longer, but has a starting infection on their chest. What? I'm... What? Like it reset? Yes. Interesting. Well, I guess I bought some time. So, the reset is now to your cut again, where it is seeped into your cut. It does not spread any further. I guess that works for the moment. They're not afflicted. That's cool. Bro, there's... Uh, not to diss your wishes, but bro. I already had a round of wishes, too. I'm just... I want to help you, so... <laughs> you could have saved my people! That's why I want you, you to come over me? here. Let me die! You saved me? All you did was give me a short bow. And a book that was gonna come back in an hour anyway. Then what do you mean? I thought you had the wand too. You have the refractor wand. Slut. <laughs> he just never added it to his inventory. <laughs> Would any I'm of you done. like to cut? So he points to the other two. Did I still have that? I thought somebody else had it. No, no you the had it. I gave it to you. The skeleton oh, man fuck, holds his hand off of your shoulder and points to the other two standing. As they are at his gate. Were both of you touching the gate? Ava or, or Ava or Oberon? I don't well, think we part were. of her hip was touching the gate, but that's about it. Ava, you are now sent. You have been teleported to his deck. Oh, fuck! Draw a card. Uh, oh, Ron, what will you do in the light of this? I'm gonna back away, just a little bit, away from the gate, just be like, uh, I'll just wait over here for you guys. Where's Blueford? Is Blueford touching it? Uh, that's no, a good Blueford question. I don't think he would be. He has no, no reason he'll to. He'll be, uh, with Oberon. Yeah. Is, wait, Blueford was with you, Ava, right? He was, but then he I was closer it. to the gate than he would be. Then he would be touching it since he was right next to you. He would be I further guess. away from he the gate. He is there though. too. What will you do now that Blueford is there as well? Uh, okay, I go with I go with them. I gotta follow my boy. <laughs> you touch uh... the gate and you are transported to the deck. Oh hi guys. Oh, uh, what are we doing? Uh, what's going on? Uh, cards, deck, alter yes, things happened. Uh, he holds there... out his palm to you, shuffling the deck in his hand. Draw a card. Damn it. Oh, shit. So, Ava, you're first. Okay, what do I roll? No, I draw for you. Oop. Okay. I don't want to roll okay. anything. You have been given the Jack of Spades, the rogue. When this card is drawn, one of the character's NPC friends, preferably a cohort, is totally alienated and forever after hostile. If the character is no such cohort, instrument some powerful personage of the community or religious order can be substituted to the hatred in secret until the time is ripe for the revealed devastating effect. I don't have any cohorts. Someone in the world hates you now. Okay, I give two fucks. Like, here. Okay. Somebody probably hated me before, too. Fucking care. Wish I got summoned back so I could also draw a card. Mmm. What? I mean, wait a minute. Can you talk to us now? From the book? Now, Blueford is going to draw. Oh, my poor little boy. He takes his paw and, like, kind of scratches. Depends. Um, do I technically have my book with, like, all the writing that was already? No, you have a book. Empty. Um, okay. 
so key draw the key the magic the key the magic weapon granted must be one of usable by the character it suddenly appears out of nowhere in the character's hands but but blue for the but doesn't have hands i believe i can homebrew something for him interesting <laughs> all right Guys, I gotta go, but okay. I'll be back later, from tomorrow. Okay, okay. okay. Bye, buddy. Goodbye. Bye. Do you want a Bye. card drawn for a slut? Yes. So you want slut to draw a card? Yes. So you're gonna draw a card for him? Yes. Okay. Correct? Yes. He said he wanted to draw a card, so... Okay. So, as you draw one for Slut, he got the Doge on. This card signifies imprisonment, either by imprisonment spell or some powerful being. All gear and spells are stripped from the victim in any case. Aww. No more. Draw no more cards. He is imprisoned somewhere Interesting. else now. God damn it. Fucking I'm fucking egg. done. I'm fucking done with this shit. I'm done. Obron, oh, now you may draw. Okay, give it to me. He gains... Gain the jester. You have to draw two more cards. Motherfucking again! I had to do this the last time I pulled from the deck of holdings. God damn it! All right, give them to me. <sighs> All right, I'll be back. Okie doke. Don't worry. Whatever happens, we'll find out a way to bring you back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first you get is she gained the star. Two points are added to any ability of the character's choosing. They cannot be divided among two abilities. <laughs> Strong boy. <laughs> Wait, so I get two points added to the ASI. <laughs> Okay, and I can put it wherever I want it. I'm not gonna put it in my strength. I have no reason to do that. <laughs> it's funny as uh, shit. <laughs> he resets. No. <laughs> he resets the deck. The second card you draw is a moon. The fuck? You got wishes. Oh fuck. Okay. Let me roll the generator. <laughs> hey, none of us got anything super terrible, at least. Four what do you mean? It's like got banished. Banished, imprisoned. You can find him. It's fine. You have four wishes. Four wishes. Damn. Okay. Uh. You have four Oberon. To decide. Oberon, first wish. He would like to wish that the remaining Leonin in the world can all be teleported into the Fey Wild that he created using the seed he was given, so they're all safe there. Okay. Is that um, permitted? Is that okay? All of the Fae, all of the Leonin have been instantly transported to the Fae Wild, whether they wanted to or not. But yeah, have, sorry guys. But you have no idea where they are, and you will not be able to see them. I mean, they're in the, the place that I, in the wild that I created, so at least I know um, they're there. Maybe. You, hopefully. You have the no other recollection thing is... where they may be, and it will take you most of your lifetime to find them again. Find the Feywild that I created again? No, to find them in the Feywild. Oh, because it's it's so big at this Great. point. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. As long as they're safe, Oberon is a happy boy. But you uh, all said all the Leonin, as in like all across the existence. Well, there's not that many left. That's that's the whole point. Is it? Okay. They're, yeah, I'm they're in... they're diminishing. So. Okay. Oh, I didn't Who mean the fuck just knows? for this continent. I meant for every continent. Oh, fuck. Well, 
<laughs> hey, it'll repopulate at least. It's fine. Uh, I'm not. I have to worry about my time constraint here. That's okay. That's number one. Three more. Uh, I would like to wish that all members of our party are cured, cured, Rona, <laughs> of the metal virus. I feel called out. If that here. is, if that is allowed by the DM. That is not allowed. That's fine. I totally understand. All right. Um, instead, I would like to wish that uh, a slut is no longer imprisoned and is That's once again with the party. Is that allowed? I cannot do that because he's binded by a card. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Pause on that one. I thought the donjon you can only overrule actually by wish, isn't it? No, it's it's you are imprisoned magically. Um, I cannot yeah, okay. be affected by a wish or card. You have okay. to either f okay. you have to find him or he okay. has to escape. Oh, this is um, good. Are there any other guidelines I should know about the wish card that I have to be confined by? You can't wish for anything wondrous or magical. If okay. you're wishing for wealth, you have to state the exact purpose of wealth. Mm -hmm. um, and be very specific. Okay. What is and your, I shouldn't what fuck is your, with game mechanics. What is your second wish? Do you know if you try to fuck with game mechanics, there will always be a downside, such as yeah. the Leonin. Yeah. Oopsie doops. Yes. And this was just valid. <laughs> Otherwise, it's way too OP. That makes sense. Um, yes. Can I do an Arcana check really quick? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Shit. Guys, I, I want to ask your input. What do you think I should use for my last three wishes? We can't get Slut out of the donjon. That is true. Can we find out where he is? But we can find out where he is. That's a good wish. I can I wish for a map to be able to locate him? Oh, true. We're given a map of the city. Okay, so we know he's in the city. You're okay. given an old map of the city. Okay. 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 Interesting. All right. We've got two more wishes. We can't fuck up the middle virus. Um. Can we find out where the Leon and her be pet? Uh, Obron already addressed that. She put all of the Leon in and all of existence inside the Feywild that they created. Okay. okay. <laughs> That's addressing it in some way, you know? It's, it does something. We don't know if it's actually helpful, but Oberon would want to do that. That makes sense. Is... Uh, okay. Um, um ooh, yes. we came here for the lab, right? The factory? He... Wherever yeah. they're you kind of holding the lab on the flash elves. Remaining, you need to pick up the pace. Yep. Yeah. What were you going to say, Corona? The Leonin slash elves, so wherever the laboratory is. Uh, we know where the lab is. What about it? We were supposed to go there and try and free anything that's still left captive. Okay. Or destroy it. No. Uh, do we want to do that? Do we want to waste a wish on that? Mm, we could do it ourselves. Uh... Okay. Fuck, this is hard. Mind you, Oberon, this is for your wishes. So. I know, but I, I Oberon wants input from his friends. These are his wishes, but he, he's a team up. player. Fucking cock and ball torture. Uh, you, you. That is not a wish. Uh, to clarify, uh, just just make a wish. This Anything. is hard. This is hard. Uh, okay, I I can't wish. No. Okay. Um. Um. Dude, I'm blanking. I don't do well under pressure right now. Do, I, I, uh, do you wish to do something that you had previously stated? Undo something. I said, do you wish to have me choose something that you previously stated in the past? Was there something that I said that would be a good wish? I don't know, but uh, I'll choose randomly. You have two, so Fuck, you can do that one. Yeah, sure. One of them, I'll let you pick. Blueford now has... I will add this to his armor. Mm. Oh, Blueford yes! Thank you! Armor. Good. I item for him. That's a really good one. Okay. Bless your heart. I was thinking of something with Blueford and I couldn't think of what I wanted to do. Okay, so Blueford has armor. Uh, last wish. I can't level us up, can I? You can. Is there a but? Hmm? 
is is there a, Actually, is there a I'll say that you wouldn't the XP cost is too high to level you guys up right now. Okay. That's what I would think too. That's why I was like, eh. Okay. Uh then the last wish Can I wish that we will be safe within this city? Hmm. That we will have that we will be protected. Pick a spot. A spot? Yeah. We would have we would need a place. <gasps> oh, like a singular location for us to have safe haven, you mean? Yeah. I'm gonna start pointing at the mansion. The man okay. I guess the mansion. That's a good place. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I wish that our party is safe and protected while we are within the mansion that is here. Okay. <laughs> Upon doing so, the man says good day and closes the door. What? Hey, can we come in? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You didn't say inside, you said... I said in, I said in the mansion. Within the mansion, Yes, okay. within the mansion, you are safe, but you're not in the mansion. Yeah, you just have to get in there. So he can harm us once we actually infiltrate the mansion, though. Yeah. So... Uh... Wait, do I have any teleport spells? <laughs> Guys, I can't do that shit on the spot. Never ask me to do anything like that again. My mm. brain goes so empty. I mean, in all Ooh. fairness, we both made pretty shitty wishes. Okay, I made better wishes than you, at least. Hey, no! <laughs> I did! Did I not? I mean, you did. That is fair. <laughs> I know there's better ones out there, but... You know? I was trying to make you feel better. Goddamn. Jeez. Come back to me. <laughs> Let me be metal boy. My pee, -pee is is metal. Ra 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 ra. You can have your armor and be metal. You don't <laughs> leave me alone. Okay, okay. Um, I know we're running out of time here, so we should probably wrap up. Do we yeah. want to try to go into the mansion? Should we knock? Yeah. Ooh. All right. No, well, fair enough. Yeah, so, I mean, we can just ask. He said good day, but like, we can be like, hey. He wasn't rude, so. Yeah. Knock, knock, knock. He opens up the door. Hello, it appears you're on my property again. Hi, can we stay? Draw from the deck. Oh no! Oh no! Oh Whoever no! Whoever enter the abode must draw from my deck. Do we want to book it? Do we want to just leave? What or do you want to deal with it? God. Oh no. Wait a minute. How wide is the opening to get behind him? Winky face. He holds up the whole door. Uh, the door. I never told you how tall he was, did I? No. no. 15 feet. Holy. Wait. Yeah, we ain't, know, we ain't gonna know him. Do we even know? Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Is does Oberon look stronger than he does? No. <laughs> no. Jeez. <laughs> okay. To give you a bit more ire now that you can see his whole body and the whole length and the light of the room, since there are lights inside. Mm hmm His body, while it is skeletal, as he opens up his cloak, you see that he is donning legendary armor. Oh shit. As okay. He, as he looks, and he's donning the armor of a Lich King. Oh. Okay. I want to say to him, uh, I'm gonna say, uh, before we draw from your deck, good sir, I would like to know, is it okay if my companions and I, if we stay here in this mansion with you, if you could provide us some kind of a place to stay while we're in this city, if you wouldn't mind. Any who shall enter have to draw from the deck. <clears throat> um, sir. I would love to draw from the deck. However, it does seem incomplete. There's a card behind you you dropped. <laughs> oh my god. He breaks his hand off as it oh. goes down to the ground, crawling and grabs a card. 
and then brings it back up to him as it reconnects to his arm and he slides it into the deck. Uh, okay. Deception did not work. <laughs> Alright. I guess we don't have a choice, do we? We gotta fucking draw again. Yeah. Sorry, y'all. Alright. <laughs> I'll draw. <laughs> I'll take the first draw. You I'll die. You got... So... You gained a card upon uh -huh. drawing. You gain five fifty thousand experience. You level up one time. Nice. Okay. Okay. Next All right. up is Ava. I I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my fucking god, I'm gonna skip that card. Ava? Yes. You are put into a battle. Roll for initiative. Oh, God shit. damn it. What the fuck? You draw the skull. Dude. The avatar of death appears before you. You must fight it to the death in a one-on-one -on -one battle. <laughs> um. That's a 21. Well, oh uh, boy, <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> I know she's in one on one combat, but is there something we can do to help? Nope. I don't think so. so Ava, not even a guidance. You shall be going first. Can someone make an initiative counter? Okay. Um, I got it. I'm a little too pissed. <laughs> I'm sorry. We love you. <laughs> okay. How much health does this thing have? I'm not limited to say. Uh, wait a second. There is a way out of this. Um. Oberon, mm. you, you have a draw. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oberon, you may draw. Okay. Okay. You gained a fool. You lose all the experience you had in your possession. You must draw again. Wait, I lost what? All the experience in your possession. You still retain your levels, but you must regain all your experience over. Oh, so like yeah. any progress XP that I had, I've lost it. Yes. From the last one. Got it, got it. Okay. Uh, and then I draw another card, you said? Yep. Fuck, okay. Interesting. Okay. You lose all of your gold coins. Ruined. Oof, that's a lot of money. You lose all of your gold coins, all your coins and forms of wealth on your body. Except your magical items, armor, and your carrying possessions. That's a lot of money. Rest in pieces. Wait, how did how did Oberon lose them? Did they just drop them? They fade into dust. Damn it. <laughs> um, Damn, I'm a broke ass bitch now. It's okay. I Ava's got money. Oh, oh no, I have the amulet still. Is that gone too? Amulet? No. The gold? The amulet. Yeah. Nope. No, I mean, actually, yes, it is. Guy. It is gone. Solid gold. Rip. Yeah, that's why I asked. I figured, man. But isn't it a magic item technically still? No, it's no longer. It's unusable. Damn. Okay. Damn, 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 damn. Oh, this is a rough one. <laughs> so, Blueford Drod. He got the thorn. Oh. He gains proficiency in persuasion. Double proficiency bonus. Hot damn. Good All for right. him. So, Ooh, and sexy. if I add Blueford right now, let me go to his persuasion real quick. Bless your heart. Thank you. Uh, uh, Cynthia. Proficiency skill level. Huh. I'm so angry. Actually, 
He has now an expertise in persuasion. Also, he has a keep that he has access to now. Boy! Oh! I'm gonna go ahead and give my... Master of... Tactics? Help feature to Ava. I'm not interfering in the fight, I'm just cheering her on. Okay, actually you can't do that. It's a one-on-one -on -one only fight where she disappears from your realm. Oh! Entirely. Oh. You are okay. now in a blackened space where you can only see that and the Avatar Death stand before you. It is your turn. What will you do, Ava? Uh, right. Let's see, shall we? You got this. Uh... I trust you. Oh, boy. You're fighting for your life here. I'm going to use True Strike. <laughs> and I'm going to point my finger at uh, the Avatar of Death. And I'm going to find out okay, the target uh, it says your magic grants you a bonus to the target's defenses and gain advantage on your first. I want to know what, yeah. So I'm going to use true strike. She's in. Okay. It has no weaknesses, as you can see. Mm -hmm. The fuck? Everything has to have a weakness. But you do have advantage on your next hit. Ah, uh, yeah. So... Instead, it now knows all of your weaknesses. What the fuck? Okay. That's not how that works. <laughs> all right. Well, hmm. Whatever. Alright, well, the only. I can't do anything else. I don't have a bonus action. Okay. Alright, death turn. Could see if you can just try and damage it. So it's going to rush up to you and slash its scythe through you, dealing <laughs> sixteen necrotic damage and six sixteen necrotic damage and slashing damage. What don't I have something against necrotic damage? I think you do actually. You resist it, so you take eight damage. Okay, that's what I thought. Just thump his ass. Alright. Ain't no avatar of death have anything on you. You're fine. You're fine. Okay. Since he hit me, I'm going to do a uh instant uh I'm gonna use hellish rebuke on him. It's instantaneous and it's a re uh, reaction. Hmm? It's being hit. Okay. So he has to make a dex spell. Okay, one moment. What kind of save? A dex. He doesn't pass and he is going to take damage. I'm gonna roll for damage. That's a 16. Okay. He takes damage upon flinching backwards and taking it. He looks at you staring, not saying anything, not doing anything. My turn again. 
and I will have advantage because I do the most fucking true strike. So I'm going to use hello can you guys hear me yeah we can hear you now okay i uh my discord on my desktop is just fucked itself we are wondering why you went quiet for so long what yeah it just it, it will not relaunch it just keeps closing out i don't know what happened i'm so sorry it's all good you haven't I'm missed too much to so the mandador Mardic Canium Sword. Ooh, Mordecai is nice. Okay. At him, I'm going to. It's, it's plus 10, so for the DC, or hit DC. Okay, roll me DC. That's a 19. That doesn't hit. What? <clears throat> Wait, no, I would have advantage with that. You didn't so you'd have to roll again. You didn't roll advantage at the time of roll, though. Hmm. So you still have advantage, at least, but... Not this time, apparently. Yeah. Okay, fine, whatever. Then he doesn't take any damage, because I can't hit him. You hit him with the other thing, right? Yeah, I think. it took 16, but let's see. that was instantaneous. This one, I actually had a turn and was trying to do more damage. Right. For advantage, so. Did you make him do a save, or was the other one a hit? I made him do a save, and, okay. and he didn't okay. make it. Gotcha. Maybe keep doing that. All right, well, it's his turn. Okay. So, he is going to come at you and attack again. He's going to slash a normal scythe at you. Doing eight damage of slashing. It is now your turn. He comes at you, slashing at your face and then recoiling back as he takes his aim, returning his sight to the back of him. Okay, well, I still have the sword out, so I can use it again. Because it's still pointed at him. So, I'm going to use that, and I'm going to... Roll. To hit. That's a 27. You hit. Nice. Right, let me roll for damage. That's 18 damage. You do damage. He looks a little bit woozed, although it did slash through his body and he backs up a bit, but his body returning to a more corporeal form. By the way, you barely passed. He has a 25 AC. Well, at least you know what it is now. So. Yeah. Alright. Okay. He is now going to come up to you and attack once more. Slicing into you for 15 damage. Slashing across your face and your chest going behind you. As he phases into you using a bonus action, you are going to take Two poison damage. Hmm. Okay. If you do not risk, if you do not resist poison, you shall take poison damage every turn after. You are poisoned. Can I use the minor heal to heal my? Can you use the what? The minor heal potion that I. Have. That heals health, not cures poison. But you can use it to get some HP back if you wanted to. You know so. what? Fuck that. I'm just going to use Cure Wound on my... 
Okay, you secure wounds on yourself. How much do you heal yourself for? Give me a second. I'm getting two. I use a fourth level cure wound. And I'm healing myself for 34. Okay. Because it is your turn and the poison is on your turn, you take 10 poison damage. It wouldn't cure wounds take that off. No, it heals health, not cures poison. You're thinking of uh, lesser restoration. I don't have lesser restoration. There's like greater restoration. I'm not about to use that unless I have to. I think greater restoration might do it too, if I'm not mistaken. What I'll check for you. What you do on your turn? What else? Uh, how long does that soul? Up to one minute, okay, so that's gone. I am going to use... Nope, I'm gonna save that. Not yet. I don't think it's weak enough yet. Hmm. What you gonna do, Ava? Give me a second. I'm going to smack it with arcane hand. Okay. <sighs> the default. Great default. <laughs> I'm going to use a level 6 arcane hand. And it's within my range, so... I'm going to roll for damage. Okay. That's 25. You kill it. Upon smacking with oh, arcane yeah. hand... It disperses yeah. into a pile of smoke. Upon doing so, you are returned to your dimension. Smoke wafting around you. You gain no experience. I swear to God, if it was, if I knew it was that close, I would have did my power word stun. I swear to fucking God, I would. <laughs> I knew you could do it. I'm so proud of you. You literally killed the Grim Reaper. How do you feel? He's gonna come out looking so fucking pissed. Hi. <laughs> the man puts the cards back into his pocket. I'm going to quickly put my foot in the door. <laughs> Upon doing so, as he puts his cards back into his pocket, he steps backwards and lets you in. Inside, oh you, Bless. See, you see the lavishings of the rich and fancy, as this looks to be the Nekoje Ark, as this looks to be a high noble, almost grandiose in nature, of everything dedicated to everything fancy. You can see his <coughs> living room is literally looking as if it's just a fancy living room with a fireplace, multiple sofas, chairs, record players, all kinds of little technologies and bugs, multiple books to be read. Down the hall, there is a dining room that is stuffed to the brims with all kinds of food and leisures of the masses. And there's an upstairs to it Upstairs, there is multiple rooms dedicated with each individual queen-sized bed. Lavished in silks and draperies of all kinds and scented of lavender in each room. Ava's gonna walk in and immediately head to She doesn't want to talk. Nothing. <laughs> she is pissed. No talking. No nutter. I'm going to a room and I'm locking myself in that bitch for a little while. As you walk upstairs into your room, you enter your room, noticing there is a large standing room with a queen-sized bed in it, multiple drapes, a fireplace to your own, a desk, and a bookshelf filled with multiple books of magic and weaponry and tales of old. There is also a bathroom to your own display. 
she's going Classy. to uh, first thing she's going to do is go to the shelf of books and look for any spell books on uh for like defense magic hmm. you don't really seem to find any as all the magic in most of your tales to ruin and ruin crafting. are there any books that are in infernal or fuck, what are my languages there is. Uh, there is Inferno or Common. There is a book labeled The Tales of Cinder. Hmm. Alright, she's gonna grab that book, head straight to the bathroom, and run herself a hot, hot bath. As you enter the bathroom, it is not a singular tub instead. As etched into the bathroom, there is almost a sauna like pool of water in the left hand corner of the room. Filled with all kinds of lush leaves and plants dedicated in there. As on the right hand side of the room, there is a faucet for a shower and a sink. Along with toiletries and such. She's stripping naked, going straight in the tub with the book, and she is going to read. Like, she's like, fuck this. I am zoning out. I had a very bad day. Over on, she wants to read the book. Uh, Oberon is going to so, find a room. Before yes. that, I would like to tell you that here's what Bluford got. Bluford got some... So Bluford got new armor. Bluford has been given stubbed leather plus one armor. Hmm. And he's been given a modified flame tongue greatsword, which coats the inside of his teeth, making it almost... Ah. Like a mouth guard like thing of metal teeth that heats up in flames. Wow! Oh my gosh, it's Sif. Pretty poggers. Hell yeah, thank you. That's sexy. So every Come bite on. now is from the flame tongue greatsword. Nice, nice. That's so cool. Thank you, Added thank you. Character sheet and such. Bless your heart. She now has an 18 armor class. Oh, big boy! Tanky boy. Damn. So he is now, when he is not with you, you know, he now has leather armor on, kind of like a horse does. Mm -hmm. Wow. Is Bluford our strongest party member? Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's pretty much up there. So what do you over on? Uh, I will find a room. For Bluford and I to stay in. Uh, and before resting, I would love to eat some rations with Bluford. There's a dining room. Do you wish to go there? Oh, sweet. Yeah, let's do that. We can actually sit proper. Do you go to the dining room while. first or no? Yeah. So you go down the hall towards the dining room. As you enter the dining room, there is a full platter of food of all kinds of culture, reigning from the far east to west to north, arranged out on a long, decadent table. Oh, wow. Every uh, corner of the table is stuffed with all kinds of food. This seems a little suspicious, even though he's very excited. Can I do an, an insight on the food? You don't need to. Upon it's good grabbing, food? So, upon grabbing the card in which you asked for a wish for someplace safe to stay, the mansion has been transformed instead of a haunted mansion, eldered by a specter of a Lich King, to a Lich King in subservience to you of a decadent mansion, fully respite and protected. Ooh, that's nice! We got a crib, y'all! So this, this is our house? This Damn. Is this is basically our house. This is also Bluford's homestead. Oh hell yeah! All so right. The deed belongs to I'm, Bluford. I'll I'll chow down, and Bluford's gonna chow down, and we're gonna fill ourselves up before going off to sleepy by. So Bluford sits in a chair and waits as you wait to put something on the plate. Oh yeah, I'm gonna load it up with meat and like maybe a few carrots too. He needs his vegetables. Chunky meaties. Carrots really? So dogs, dogs like carrots. In front of you, there is a number of beasts. Shall you roll to pick one? 
Uh, yeah, sure. What, what should I roll? D20. 20, all right. Okay, that's a two. You give him three chicken breasts. Mmm, chicken titty. Plate, <laughs> along with chicken wings. Wait, head, head no. <laughs> fried and coarse. They are fried up with a thick, crispy layer of skin juicy on the inside and completely oh. hot to the touch, along with fresh basil carrot. I think I'm mildly traumatized after today. I just immediately grabbed my own titty <laughs> some fear. What I'm gonna blow on his food first. Simply? So that he can have it a little cooled down, just his food for my little baby boy. So he's, oh. he's currently eating, wagging his tail, and I have a boy grunting a little All bit. Alright. Uh, should I roll for myself food? Yes. yes! I'm so hungry right now. I haven't had dinner yet. Oh my god. Alright, I got a 16. You choose a. You choose a 10 layer lamb rabbit deep dish lasagna. Oh my god. Hell yeah. As you take a nom, piece nom, nom. onto your plate, it is fully glazed in all kinds of cheeses and sauces. Oh, hell yes. Oh, I'm gonna eat the shit out of this. Om nom nom. Because you are eating high class food, you will be fully restored of any exhaustion, and you will be well fed and have higher spirits. Nice. I would like to, to holler out and be like, Hey guys, there's really yummy food in the dining room. If you'd like to share a meal. Corona, where shall you go? I will go ahead and join Obron in the dining room. And on my way over there, I'm kind of curious too for two things. Uh, now that I'm no longer a necromancer, what's happened to the left finger and the crucifix ballista? They've disappeared. Okay, so they've vanished. That's interesting. Um, but I am I am in my room reading because I'm going to learn about this. I'm going to learn as much as I can and this bullshit. So I want to try to learn something from this book. And the other thing I would like to do on my way over to the dining room is was the left I am finger going. The skeleton king, or was that just the left finger? Sorry. Oh, that was the left finger, as in the dagger. Okay. And the crucifix stone? The crucifix ballista was the other weapon that came from that series of wishes from before. You technically can keep the ballista if you still want to have your god be that one of the serenade. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, what shall you do? That was the other thing I wanted to do, is I want to see if... While I'm walking to the dining room, I'd kind of like to discuss in my own head to the Celadrin, see if anyone fits the weird description of a silver-haired female that's not Lolf. Didn't you say the one that we were wanting to have for? Yeah, but Corona's only semi-familiar with her, so... I like, don't know her name, because I didn't see it. Uh, Elistria. Illustri contacts you and says, I believe you can settle a bargain. A bargain? Hmm. You have contacted my kind, and while the Dark Serenade is not a well-known group of gods, it is a very chaotic one, and one that you are just coming from and been opposed to, I would like to have a new priest within my court. What say you? If it means getting rid of your mother, then yes. Then I believe we can be eye to eye. Okay. You feel a corporeal hand shake yours as your tattoo of the Dark Serenade has been over and comes with a silverish hue as you are now bound to them. Illustry, that is. You're bound to Illustry. I gather. Your, your tattoo has changed from the Dark Serenade to Illustry. So, 
very weird notion being subjugated by a spirit of freedom. But, you know what? Fine. Um, I'll discuss with you more in the future. That's fine. But I'm going to head to the kitchen and, well, dining room and meet up with Oberon. What? Food? Yes. It's been a long day. Uh, it's mm. so good. Come eat. I'm going to trot over and just take a f face full of lasagna like a dirty drow I am. You Fucking drow. Let me see what you eat. A D20. Okay. Oh boy. I'm gonna poison myself again, I just know it. Uh, six. You find yourself eating the Infernal Chimera steaks. Bruh. Tendered with a light gravy. Kind of interesting. I get fed my my compatriots way too often. This is not good. <laughs> Feral eh. only meaning demonic, so it's a demonic chimera. Okay, so mm. at least it's not a tiefling, but... <laughs> Tieflings are partly demonic creatures, so it doesn't really matter. Did someone say Vort? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, witch comes over and is behind you and says, so you are within my care and tenderness. For a higher judgment has said that you must be under my watch and leniership. I shall Can we keep you? Carry out this purpose. So what, what is out of, out of character, this house is protected by the spell of good and evil. Protection Ooh. from fire, resistant to all damage, and... The only thing that can possibly kill it is a plane shift. Ah, uh, okay. So I can kill the house. <laughs> no. You would have to plane or <laughs> banish it. <laughs> Over on. I can kill the house. No. No. <laughs> Crone is just doing his little evil hands rubby. Where we shall end the session. Okay. <laughs>